Hey everybody, it's time for another video. I just wanted to show you what I did today. Very little change, very little, but it's kind of cool. Um, so I took out the initialization inside the uh, points in it pro, uh, function. And so this is the, the only initialization I do for the planetary rings. Now I set the timer and the GLFW timer. Um, I set the theme for the rings, the color, and then reset the index. So instead of the I loop that tr creates each ring, I create a ring index that I'll reference with each time through the <coughs> through the um, through the main loop in the program, and so for the f until rings index, which gets incremented each time it enters this loop, until it r reaches 240, it'll enter this loop. Okay, and it checks the time to make sure the time is greater than 0.1. So every tenth of a second, we'll do this. <coughs> Although we can change that to every half of a tenth of a second, so it's it would actually be one twentieth of a second, just to make it go faster. And so each time it does just like before, that was inside of the for loop for the i loop. So now instead of the i variable, I use rings index to control the radius. And then each time on the radius, it creates the ring, it advances the ring index, and it resets the GLFW timer so that it will trigger this next time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and compile and run it. And it slowly draws the rings on the screen. <clears throat> this is pretty awesome. It's just uh, one of the one of the things I'm going to do to get started to do a little bit more animation so that uh, the scene is actually kind of animated a little bit more. Not as if there's not a lot of animation going on. But anyways, something I thought of I wanted to share with you and again, that's that's calling the uh, initialization over time in the points move function. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for much much more.